Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff. We are working on the Pig City, and I brought over this bundle. I believe there is... I hope that there is light bulbs in here because we have used all of the lanterns. All the lanterns are gone, and we still have more lanterns to make. Good. Good. Very good. I'm not sure how many more we need to do, so what I'm going to do is just make as many as I can, I suppose. Which is a few. I got like, I, I got a decent amount of rope on me. A full stack to be exact. But I also wanted to make sure that we're not s spoiling too much. I will keep out, I'll keep out 20 bulbs. Because I, I got the feeling I'll use at least that many. So I'm just going to wrap up the rest of these with the nectar and the flytrap stalks because I don't want those going bad. I'm just going to leave this in the, in the root trunk for now. I've been getting gifted so much, and it's a shame because I can't really do much with most of it. Like, seeds? I mean, it's nice getting gifted, but it's also kind of annoying because now inventory, there's just like rocks and twigs and grass just kind of lying all over the place. And I'm one to complain about, about too many resources lying around, but... Yeah, it's kind of, it's getting kind of cluttered around here, and I don't get why these guys are still celebrating. It's been like an entire season. It's been an entire season. They're still celebrating. Ooh, something's going on over here. What's what's going on right here? Oh. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. Can I give it to a pig? Can I give that to a town's pig? Wait, hang on a second. This is important. This is important. Professor. Professor. Oh, that would have made me so happy to see you with the bandit hat. And then, <laughs> what if you could, what if you could put the bandit hat on a pig, on a town's pig, and then the pig guards think that it's a bandit? What if? A lot of what ifs going on. But not real. Not real. None of this is real. Let's see, I got six more in this zone. Oh my god, is this like... Am I get? Am I actually getting close to finishing this? Don't get my don't 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 play with my emotions like that, game. This is too important. Uh, well, we definitely need one, two, three, four, five more. Oh, and I should make so I should make one more lantern, right? Don't play with my emotions like this, game. This is too big of a project to 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 give me false hope. I mean, and I will I will want to put lampos on the uh, on the farm plots but that that will come much later I want to I want to finish finish building the houses at least oh my god was that it oh tell me tell me that was it are there more there might be more spots four eight eight more and then we'll be done <gasps> and then we'll be finished and then no more lampos for now but I'm out of, oh, I'm out of rope. I'm out of rope. Well, I'll, I'll make the, yeah, that's fine. that's fine. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just getting random crap gifted like that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be out of, oh, I'm going to be out of sticks too. Okay. Yeah, now I'm complaining. Like I got, oh, I got too many sticks, too many, too much grass. Give me all this crap. Now I can actually, I can actually use it. But let's see, that's light bulbs. I am going to want to make more. Okay. So I gotta go back again. Let's see, do I need more alloy? That was the question. Wait, how many more? Oh, I already forgot. I need to make eight more? Eight more lampposts. For eight more lampposts, eight more alloy. Eight more doodads. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, just seven more. It's doable. The end is in sight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go uh, go back home, grab the rest of the rest of what I need to finish up the... Yeah, so I need to make like a few more alloys. That's cool and make the lanterns and then we'll be then we'll be good to go okay check back in with you in a few oh i had aloe here well as long as i brought more ore over to the spot uh might as well use, use it so yeah um i'm learning that it with two smelters it's generally plenty to keep me busy you see they're like they it doesn't take them very long to smelt and by the time I finish smelting one, the next one's ready, and like, yeah, I don't think I would ever need more than this many smelters. Because they do a good job. Just, just two of them on their own. Anyways, I think I can make... 
Well, I have I have the rope to make the last of the lanterns. I left the light bulbs over at the city. Uh, I want to grab a bit more grass. I do have the lure plant farm, but I'm not going to go over there just yet. I'm just going to drop things off. Uh, you can turn those to ash if you want. Yeah, that's a good boy. Drop off this manure. I think I have everything I need to finish making these lampposts. Thank the Lord. All right, let's open up this bundle again. Grab the light bulbs. I need to make... Let's see, I got one pre-built. One, one lamppost pre-built, so I just need to... I, I got two of my backpack. So I just need to make two more. I think that's it. You know, I'll make one extra just to have one pre-built in my inventory. And then... Make this bundle. Stick all these things back inside. Yes, that'll go back home. All right, let's make these dang old lampposts. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Did I forget about you? How is that possible? Don't worry, you're cool, you're cool. You're cool, lady. Oh my god, I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe it. We're doing it. What, what was that? Is that a hippo? Something just, like, thudded. What the hell just thudded? Must be a hippo around here, but it seems kind of far away from the ponds. Whatever. Oh my god, is that it? Is that it? <gasps> is that all the lampposts? All the lampposts? Oh, that might be close to all of them. Yes. 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 The city is lit. The city is lit up. <gasps> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, crap, I, I do need to go back because... It's about, I'm about to start sneezing my face off. It is lush season. Take it over, I will happily take it over the fog any day of the dang week. I do not need to be carrying around these eggs. But I will. Um, just to get some coffee out of here. Bundling them up for now. Okay, gonna, gonna, gonna... Hit the speed, and boogie on back. Oh yeah, we gotta build all of this stone road turf. All of it. And I think we're down, to, we might actually be down to our final box of boards, which means we're gonna have to farm some more boards, some more logs pretty soon. Crazy to believe how many resources this has ended up costing us to build a city. I guess it makes sense, but still, all the same. All right, let's go and make some dang nettles. I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna make like a grip of nettles for the entire season. Might as well. And I got enough in here, yeah. These are all the nettles I have, by the way. So I think, if, if I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time around here, I should be, I should be, pro, uh, I should be actively farming them some other way. So perhaps, perhaps I do wanna set up the, uh, the sprinkler once again. Oops. Do do do. Doop. Cook. Let's grab one roll now. All right. Yeah. That's, I think I could just. I'll, I'll just try and uh, try and make enough for the entire season. I think seven should be enough for the entire season. Because each nettle roll is like was like one and a half days in game. Oh, even the nettle rolls get their cute little. A cute little uh, thing. But I think that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with this for now. I don't want to make more than I need to. Uh, but it means I got to bundle them up again. Okay, well, I can throw... Where the hell do I put eggs? Are eggs in here? Yeah, there's like a bundle of eggs right there. Do I need another bundle for the eggs? Screw it. I don't... I don't need to be carrying them around. I'm just gonna leave them in here. I got bundles. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Yeah, because I want... I want nettles in this. I want nettles in this bundle. So I can eat them again. Okay. Uh, we're good. We're good. Uh, back to... Back to the pig city. Uh, as soon as I drop off this poop. Back to the pig city to make some more townhouses. Look at this guy. He, like, refuses to move from this spot. I'm trying to move him, and he keeps, like, coming back. Move, guys! Move! Now stay. Stay out. Ah-ha-ha! -ha! I'm trying to build a house right here. Come on, let me build it. 
Let me build it. Let me build it. Yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, two more. Alright. And with that, just eight houses. <laughs> just eight houses and so many resources disappear. And I think the next thing I'm gonna need... Well, I'm gonna need more... How many more rocks and... Uh... Let's see what we got. Yeah, I definitely need more more cut stone. Just gonna handle like eight at a time. Because eight times four is thirty-two. That's you know, manageable chunks. Twenty-one. So I need to go get more boards and I need to go get more cut stone. Alright. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a bit of crafting coming up. And that's okay. It's just it's the grind, it's the grind of it. So let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? We need another 56 56 houses to fill up uh, fill up these corner spots Maybe it would just be easier to grab all the resources at once So let's see let's let's do math as we run 56 That means we're gonna need Like oh God, I'm I'm terrible at math. Okay, I'm going to need 224 boards, 224 pigskin, and 168 cut stone. Do I have those? Do I have those resources? I think there's 90 boards, 100. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna need to farm more boards, more rocks. Wait, yeah, because we definitely don't have the rocks for this, right? We actually might have the rocks for it. Although, this is like, 40 cut stone, 80 cut stone. Possibly. Possibly. Well, as for now, I just, I'm just bringing the stuff over, so it, you know. I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab everything. I don't think, I, I definitely don't have the, uh, I don't have the pig skins for this. That's a fact. Goodbye, buddies. God, do I want to leave myself a 60 big skin? I do, because I'm going to be... After I... I you know, I'm, I'm just going to use up resources right now, because... Uh, the next move is going to be... Clearing the... Uh, clearing Reign of Giants. And that's going to give us boards, cut stone, and... Pig skin. So we will be able to get more stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to save on the cut stone for now. Because I don't want to have to craft more cut stone than I need to. <laughs> Uh, but let's just, yeah, let's, let's bundle up, bundle up boards. Yikes. Okay, let's just get another, another thing. Yeah. So maybe I won't go overboard on the cutstone right now, but soon I will. Soon I will have to. And thank you, bats, for actually coming at a convenient time. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you for coming at a time where I could actually farm you with Elephant Cactus, where I don't have to run around while you terrorize the local townsfolk. Don't- oh. Did you give me any pigskin? Any at all? You gave me one? <laughs> you gave me one pigskin. Bunch of asshole bats. Asshole bats! I'm just leaving that there. Okay, that was a lot of crafting going on. Let's see. One. Oh, I want to actually drop it. I want to drop it. Drop it. One, two, three. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 cut stone? Is that right? What the hell? Oh no, that's like, that's actually the texture. I thought it was like, so why are one of the cut stones standing up? No, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, so I think we're ready for another round of... Oh no, we got bundled supplies! Oh no! We gotta account for those too. Crap, okay, I'm just dropping them in big, beautiful piles right now. I think I have, do I have cut stone in one of these or are these all boards? They might be all boards. Oh boy. Got so many resources. Unbelievable. It'll be nice though. Oh right, there's the pigskin. Got it. Got it. How many pigskin do we have here? Like 40, 120, 160, 204. This is close. It, it, it's pretty close actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 224. Wow, it's so close. It's so close. But not quite. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do ten houses at a time. That's manageable, right? So four stacks of boards, and three stacks of cut stone. 
That's manageable. Okay, let's get to building. All right, time for another 10. Three cut stones. Or three stacks of cut stones, excuse me. Four stacks of boards. All right, let's do it. And I used up all that cut stone. I did it. Save, show me. Look at this. So I was only able to build like 16 more townhouses. Still got one, two, three, four spots left. One, two, three, four spots left. And another like four townhouses right here. I think, I think I'm just gonna use the, the rocks that I have and craft them. As many as I have, might as well just use the friggin' resources. And uh, if we need more rocks, then we fight the Ancient Hulk and we get more rocks. Simple as that. Unbelievable. Unreal! How many rocks do we have in here? Yeah, I think we can make... I need to make at least... Uh, yeah, I think I can make, like... 40 more rocks? 40 more cut stone? Wait, is that right? Yeah, I'll make 40 cut stone. 50, 60. Yeah, I'm gonna craft them up right here. Guys, we have a problem. We're out of boards. And we're down to like six stacks of rocks. I think after this batch of pig houses, I'm gonna need to go get more resources. So, I think at that point it'll be time to go to Raid of Giants and do some do some proper clearing. It's it blows my mind how quickly I go through these resources with building building townhouses. And they require lots of everything. Pretty much everything. So I could at this point I can really use uh, the resources from the pig houses in Reign of Giants. And then we hop. We switch characters and we uh, we finish we finish the build. And at this point at this point these gifts are just like troll. Uh, I'm get I'm getting trolled with these seeds and this flint. I don't want any more guys. I don't want any more. Anyways, uh, I'm ready. To, I'm I'm just gonna do off camera. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna use up all of the boards. I'm gonna do it all off camera. And, uh, then I will check back with you when I am ready to start making preparations for Reign of Giants. So, see you in a few. Well, I decided to just hop over to Reign of Giants because I'm gonna need to start moving some things over from that world because we're gonna reset it pretty soon. And looks like I got a little friend over here Follow me around. It's autumn, so it's actually a pretty good time to, uh, to get to work on this. Hounds just came. Uh, took care of them, the tooth traps, and then Berger spawned immediately, so I'm leading him around. I actually could use the wood. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn Screen Shake off for y'all. And I'm gonna lead this boy around for a little bit. Now, it looks like he's spawning some... Whoa, 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 it looks like he's... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, he spawned another guy over here. So, let's lead him on over. Man, Berger's great for, uh, for getting rid of, uh, the, the poison birch nuts. They're definitely not as much of a threat to him as the regular tree guards. That should that should spawn some more. Yeah, there we go. Just lead him through. He just he just he just marches straight through them. Takes very little damage, which is kind of important in uh, in Raid of Giants where he do he doesn't have as much. Uh, you know, I probably shouldn't do this, but in Raid of Giants where he doesn't have nearly as much health as he does in uh, DST. See, it's interesting. That time when he knocked it down, he knocked down, he knocked out two living logs. But previously, it seems like he was only knocking out like one. Like, check this out. If he walks through, he destroys the stump. Okay, I see. If he if he walks through it, he actually doesn't harvest the tree completely. He just like gets one log out of it. See, that was a fully grown tree, and he just yeah. But I love the range of this pound. After using Berger so much in DST, it's nice to have him have him uh, with his true range. What I think his true range should be. Look at that! Look at that! That's incredible. All right, how are we gonna do this? I guess we'll just use the lantern for now. Hello, boys. See, that'll harvest all of them. I harvest all of it. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lead him around the deciduous. 
forest for a little bit and uh, have him uh, have him harvest some trees for me. I might actually also uh, bundle up the birch nuts and, and hold on to those for future decorations. This is a good time to be doing this. I I don't I'm I'm happy to put in the work now. As long as our our board supply has been completely depleted by the pig city. And I know we're going to get more boards by clearing out the pig houses. Now, on that note, let's take a look at this world. Oh, rip, read trap. I can't believe I'm world hopping away from this beautiful thing. It's got to happen. I mean, I could do it in shipwreck. It would just take forever to find the the, the silly string afterwards. We got to grab, yeah, we definitely got to grab the berry bushes. I think we cleared a lot of the pig houses in here. There looks like one, two, three more. Um, there's probably some in here. Yeah, at least one, two, three, pro four. Yeah, probably more. And, yeah, the only other thing I wanted to clear were the beehives. And it looks like there's only three of them left. Maybe, oh no, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so beehives, pig houses, the spiky berry bushes, and maybe do one or two more harvests of the reed trap. And then we say goodbye to this world, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to continue using bear to harvest for now. And then I will get to uh, I will get to moving stuff out, and then gathering the rest of the resources I was planning on gathering in this world. Yeah, I think Berger in the deciduous forest might be the quickest way of collecting living logs. He spawns them so fast, and then he just he just marches over them. I can't think of any quicker way to get living logs because if I bring him into the into the evergreen forest. He will spawn tree guards, but the tree guards will kill him. But this is just... It, it's ridiculous how fast it spawns poison birch nuts. Look at this. I'm clearing out the entire forest with this dude. And nothing can stop him. These trees cannot stop him. They won't. I kind of want to use him to... I want to use him to, to destroy... Are there any pig houses around here? Yeah, I just want to have him kill the pigs. And the pig houses. And then I'll use some... I might even use some... Uh, some of this stuff to- oh, come on! Destroy it! Oh, there we go. Now, I wanna grab the pig... ...skin. Okay, cool. Yeah, he was interested in something else there. I just gotta remember this- no, I, I should pick up- I actually pick up the custom, because now there's no nothing indicating that there used to be a pig house here. Come on! Come on, dude! Yeah, I am going crazy. There's nothing much to be done about that. Around Berger. I could leave him here for now. Uh, but it's about to be night. I'm gonna leave him here for a, for a minute. Because there are some things that... Oh, wait. Is he gonna follow me? He's gonna follow me, ain't he? Yeah. I might as well just... I might as well just keep using him. Oh, that was cheap. That was rather cheap. I was gonna trigger him, but he was already triggered. He was already triggered by my- oh, because I'm holding honey, that's why. Oops! <laughs> oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, dear, there goes my armor! Oh, dear, I need to get out! <laughs> I need to get out of here! Oh, and I'm crazy! Shoot, shoot, shoot! <laughs> that was a mistake. The hell was I thinking? Oh, boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's eat the coffee. Uh, let's... Oh, crap. Do I have... Do I have any other goggles? Well, I got the fry focals for now. I suppose I could just get rid of them. That was... That was unexpected. I just suddenly don't... Didn't have armor anymore. Well, I can make a log suit. I can actually make a hand bat. I'm gonna bring Berger over here while I deal with, uh, this terror beak. See how long they last. Whoa, they knock the halberds out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that is interesting. That is super interesting. Berger knocks the halberds out of their hands. I've never seen that mechanic before. But I think it's time for this dude to go. <laughs> Been causing a bit of bit of issues around here, man. But that's really interesting. I wonder if there's a end. Yeah. So like bringing a bunch of a br bunch of guards over to Berger means 
really interesting. Really interesting. But yeah, this this has ended up being more of a detour than I expected. So I'm going to quietly eliminate this guy, and damn, he hits hard. I gotta, I, I'm, I'm just gonna play it safe. Just one hit, one hit, one hit. Oh, hello, Builder Pig. You gonna come uh, repair these guard towers? How convenient. No matter what the DLC, you will spawn, you will, f you will find the broken houses and you will destroy them. All right, you will repair them. Cool. Wow, two builder pigs. It must be my birthday. Well, that's nice. That's so nice. Oh right, we had hounds. So we got to reset these traps. Okay, that was a little, that was a little sketchier than I, than I would have hoped for. But we prevailed. Berger's dead, and look, look, we cleared like a lot of this deciduous forest. So yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, spend some time just collecting stuff around here and bringing them back over to Hamlet. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to be doing. Spending spending time in uh, in autumn collecting resources. And yeah, we're, we're going to have lots of living logs, lots of boards, lots of birch nut seeds. So yeah, I'm going to get to... Well, first things first, I got to feed these eggs to the pig. I got a bunch of eggs in here. I found this guy's sweet spot. The big horn. Oh, it was the sweet spot, but then... <laughs> Then the bird fell on it. It was like the perfect, the perfect place to uh, to click on him. Because if you click on other places, gold kind of gets in the way. Like you're constantly dodging the falling gold nuggets. No man, leave my gold alone. Oh, you're eating gears too. But like, check it out. If you click on this, uh, if you just keep clicking on this horn, the gold never never flies over there. Just the random crow. But yeah, it seems like the fastest way to spam click on this dude. Anyways, I got another bundle to give him, and uh, oh, I should give him this. No, I'm gonna actually eat the meat. Uh, and then, yeah, we gotta start collecting things. I actually think I'm gonna save a little bit of eggs, so I'm gonna bundle these back up. I don't think I, I, I really don't need gold at this point. I've got like a full scale chest, and after this batch, this is gonna be like another regular chest full. In the in the reg, in the gold box inside the house, so yeah, I don't really need to give all these eggs to the pig. I would much rather uh, get started on cleaning up this forest and cleaning up the world for that matter. So I'm gonna get to that after dropping this gold off inside, and then let's get to real work. The real work. I know that things have been changing with the characters in single player. A lot of the changes have been kind of on the on the silent side. But one thing I have noticed with Wagstaff, so the way I think he was originally intended to work was any food he eats has a three health penalty if it's raw. So if that raw food would normally restore health, like butterfly wings or, or uh, aloe, it's like a net gain. So like, for example, butterfly wings restore eight health and eating raw food as Wagstaff costs you three health. Which means, originally, you would get back 5 health. Now, at some point, they changed that so that no matter what the, what the, what the, the, the health value of the raw food is, Wagstaff loses 3 health. And, like, any of the health gain was completely negated. Now, it seems like it got changed back. Because, check this out. Watch my health. Looking at my health. I gained 5. That's 8 minus 3. So, I actually do get health back now from eating butterflies. Which is convenient, because I didn't bring any healing with me. But that's definitely changed since... Uh, since last time I tried doing this. It's It must have been like a month ago since I last checked, but like, eating butterfly wings... Caught, like, hurt you for 3 health, as Wagstaff. Anyways, I am clearing the pig houses, and then I will clear... The forest, and then I will clear the world. Alright, this will be another good thing to check. Blue caps! Restores 17. Yeah, that's right. 20 minus 3. Cool. I'm happy to see I'm happy to see that go back because uh Yeah, it seems like with 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 stuff that normally heals you, it doesn't make a ton of sense that Wagstaff would have zero uh zero health gain from that. So cool. It's a good thing to know in my final days as Wagstaff. I think 
Well, no, I do need to go back to Hamlet. I was gonna say, I think Wagstaff might not be going back to Hamlet, but yeah, we gotta go get the, uh, we, we gotta get a few things, uh, before we world hop. Most notably, the ingredients for a Skyworthy minus the can of Silly String. Let me just take a look at that, uh, Skyworthy, where is the Skyworthy? Four living logs and four nightmare fuel. We actually might have that here. Oh dear, there go the goggles. There go the infrogs. No big loss there, happy to see them go. Alright, things are coming along. I'm almost done clearing out the forest. And then it will be time. Yeah, I, I, I saw the comment uh, that some of you posted about how you don't see the interior map of your house unless there's more than one room. So in this case, it's a single room, so you see your location on the map. Which makes me wonder, is this still the physical lo It's not, because if I scroll out, I can still see the interior over here where Chester is. So it's really just, the difference is just where it shows your position on the map. If I had another room on here, it would actually show my position on, in the location of the house, which is an interesting change. I'm not sure if it has any practical <laughs> applications, but it's good to know. Anyways, I am going to end the episode here, and uh, in the next one, and in between episodes, I will finish clearing out Reign of Giants, and hopefully... By the end of next episode, we will hop to a brand new Reign of Giants world with a brand new character. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.